Hey guys, Ralph Havens, physical therapist here in um, Bellingham, Washington, Fairhaven, Washington. And I'm going to show you today a technique for, um, for ankles and feet. And it's called the secret of the talotibial joint. And it's an integrative manual therapy technique developed by Sharon Giamatteo, the late Sharon Giamatteo, and, um, and um, Tom Giamatteo, two, um, two doctors, chiropractor and physical therapist who, um, who developed this technique many years ago. And it's a great way to improve running and walking and performance and, and um, take away pains and all sorts of stuff. So the idea with this is there's a joint. This is the left foot. There's the inner side of the left foot, the outer side of the left foot. It's called the tibia and the fibula. And there's a little bone right here called the talus. And there's no muscles that attach to this talus. But it's really important. It's the one that lets you bend your ankle like this. And if it's a little off, if it's a little um, off center or somehow twisted or a little bit, or if there's some bone bruising in here or bone bruising in here, it can really limit you in how well you move. And then that affects the, the knee and the hip and all the way up the chain. So, um, so this is um, a very cool technique. And the idea with this is there's space right here, you know, between the tibia bone and the talus bone. There's a little space. And what keeps those bones apart? like when you're walking and running and, and doing stuff, why doesn't the bone just go bone on bone? In some people it does, and then you get arthritis, of course, you know, a breakdown of the joint. Um, the reason they found, the medical research, the scientific research has found that there's quanta in here. Literally, there's energy that keeps that space open. Think of a ballet dancer, a great ballet dancer, or a Pilates person. They, um, they just look like they have a lot of space in their body. And when they hit the ground, it looks like they have a lot of space in their joints and they bounce. And, um, and so that comes from quanta, from energy here. And when the bo bones are off center, if they're a little sheared or a little twisted, they found that that quanta um, dissipates and then the bones just collapse on each other. And now you've got bone on bone and it wears out cartilages. So it's not fluid that keeps that space. It's, um, and it's not ligaments that keep it you know, apart. It's, um, it's literally energy. And so how do we restore the balance of that energy so that you have space there and so things are lined up and so it bends correctly. So, um, so this is the technique. Now um, what I'm gonna do is show you on this guy and then show you on um, a way to do it to yourself and a way to do it to your clients. If you're a physical therapist or a chiropractor or a doctor or um, a coach, if you wanna use this technique, you can try it. And um, it's, it, it's a very um, gentle technique it won't hurt anybody. And, um, and part of the, the magic of this technique is that you want to be very, very gentle. If you push hard, if you think of like regular massage or chiropractic care, regular physical therapy, stretching something out, it's not that. There's a magic in doing just the right amount and it's called the interbarrier zone. So let me explain. So when you go into um, a little resistance, like you're bending your ankle, there comes a point when it gets a little tight. Now, before that point, it starts to get a little tight right here. If you back off just a hair, I'll exaggerate, back off just a hair, then there's an interbarrier zone. It's, it's not quite at the place of where it's tight. It's just backed off a little bit. Now, we call that the interbarrier zone. And in that interbarrier zone, what happens is the joint gets more space. If you're a physical therapist with good manual therapy skills, a good chiropractor, you can feel the space just start to expand. When I did this to my little boy, a runner, um, this last week, I did one foot and then I had him walk around and tell me what he felt. And what he said was it felt like he was longer, like that leg was taller. And what happened was he got more space right here. Pretty cool, huh? So the way to do this is like this. We're going to, I'm gonna show you right here and then show you on me. If you're doing it to somebody else, I'll do it right here. Then what you do, this is the outer part of the foot the part that's right here, and this is the inner part of the foot, the part that's here. So this is the left foot, and so the person will be laying here, here's the left foot, the right foot is here, their head is down here. You're gonna take the, the web space of your hands and go right on the tibia and right on the talus. It's right where the bend is. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna very, very, very gently, you're gonna glide both, both of these to the outer edge, to the little toe side. So you barely glide both the talus and the tibia a little bit this way. And what you do is you go to where it starts to get tight and then you back off just a hair and that's the interbarrier zone. 
And then the key at that point is just to, um, to wait. So I'm gonna um, push down a little bit into a little resistance. I back off a little bit. I go a little bit towards the left side because it's the left foot. And then back off a little bit. It'll feel like you're not doing much. And then you just kind of sit there and wait. And what you can do if you notice stuff is to notice what starts to happen. And I've had clients tell me their whole face starts to loosen up and their shoulder relaxes and their hip relaxes and all sorts of stuff starts to feel like it's moving on the inside of their body. And so you do that for anywhere from a minute to five minutes. I've done it for as long as 15 or 20 minutes, just holding the spot. Now, of course, it takes a lot of awareness and a lot of concentration because you could lose the focus and lose that interbarrier zone. So that's step one. And you hold that for as long as you like. You could do it time limited, like a minute or two, or you could do it till it quits doing its unwinding. Then you relax. Then what you do, here's the left foot. There's a bone here that sticks out. It's the one that sticks out on the inner edge and it's called your navicular bone. And just before it is the talus. So you do, you find this little bone that sticks out and what you're gonna do is put two fingers, one on the, ta on the, the navicular bone and one right next to it. You'll be on the talus. And then with your fingers, you separate them a little bit. And you separate them just enough that um, you can then back off and be in the interbarrier zone. So I'm gonna touch here and I'm gonna separate them out and then back off just a hair. So it takes a lot of concentration, at least initially, and, and touch and bring it out. And then the foot is gonna be hanging off the edge if you're doing it to somebody else. And you're gonna pull the ankle bone, the, cal cal the calcaneus, the heel bone, towards the floor. So they're laying down, their head's here this time, their um, feet are, their, their right foot is here, their left foot is here, their head is here. These, the navicular and the talus are being gently pulled apart and then brought together. The calcaneus is being brought down towards the floor. They're laying on a treatment table or a bed. And then you hold that. You, when you bring the calcaneus down, you bring it back till it's a little tight and then back off to the interbarrier zone and you hold those two interbarrier zones until it relaxes. It could be a minute, it could be a, a few minutes, you could do it just for a minute or two and, and then test how they feel, or you could hold it for a, as long as you like, five, 10, 15 minutes or more, and, um, and go through a full unwinding. And then if you do it on one leg, I highly encourage you to, um, to have the person walk around and retest how they feel, because their foot will feel different. It'll be on the ground different, they'll have more space in that leg, it'll feel taller, and, um, and of course, then you wanna do the other side. So now how do you do the, um, how do you do this to yourself? So I'm gonna show you quickly how to do this. So you put your foot up and you just take the web faces of your hands and right at the tibia, you just hang on. And then just to the foot side, right at the um, talus, you hang on. And so I'm gonna go and just um, push both of those posteriorly towards the Achilles and then back off a little. And I'm gonna push them both towards the couch and then back off a little, and that's the interbarrier zone. And I'm gonna hold that for as long as I like, until it is done releasing, or until I, I, you know, a minute or two if I'm doing it time limited. And so that's step one. And I can already feel my foot unwinding and doing stuff. If you're a skilled physical therapist, a chiropractor, a doctor, a practitioner, a coach, you might um, even notice that my foot's unwinding So after you do that for a period of time, I go and I find this bump, the navicular bone, a little bone. And so there's my bump. I'm gonna put one finger there, the middle finger, and the other finger just proximal, and that's the, the talus, and I'm gonna separate them just a little till I feel a little tight, and I'm gonna bring them back just to the inner barrier zone. I'm gonna take the heel bone, the calcaneus, and pull it back away from the Achilles. So here goes. And I'm gonna pull it back until there's a little tension and then I'm gonna back off to the interbarrier zone and then I just hold it and you use your awareness you don't just sit there idly you want to stay very focused and notice what's happening in between your hands and um, between the two fingers and between your heel bone and the rest of the foot and you'll start to perceive if you're skilled at manual therapy you'll start to perceive, perceive an unwinding. If you don't perceive it, that's okay. Just do your best to, to keep the, the, the fulcrum, keep the little pressure 
the same. The fingers are pulling apart a little bit. The heel bone is pulling back towards, away from the Achilles just a little bit. Okay, back posteriorly. And you hold it for a little bit and, um, and it'll unwind. And then when you're done, you can um, retest how your foot feels and how you move around. Of course, you do it on the other side um, as well. So just to show you, just to review that again, real quickly, right foot, web spaces, tibia, talus, push, push in a little bit, back off, push down towards the couch, a little bit back off, and hold that for a minute, two minutes, three minutes, 10 minutes, whatever you like. And then the little bump is your navicular, one finger on that, one finger on the talus. The calcaneus is gonna pull back. So I separate my fingers just a little, back off, into barrier zone, pull the calcaneus back just a little, back off, into barrier zone, and then I just hold it, and I hold this fulcrum. And these are indirect techniques, which means that you're not stretching anything, you're not trying to force anything, you're not trying to um, manipulate the, the talus, the tibiotalar joint. You're letting it unwind, and it has a lot of wisdom when you do it this way, because the body knows how to let go of tensions, and you're restoring um, symmetry in the joint, you're restoring um, the guidance system, the ligament systems of the joint, and you're getting the space quanta back in the joint so you have more bounce so um, reach out to me if you want some some guidance I can show you how to do this in person if you're up here in Bellingham in Fairhaven Washington um, or we can talk over over a zoom call so I um, hope this helps reach out um, again ralphhavens.com I'm in Fairhaven Washington Bellingham Washington and it's beyond limits physical therapy all right you guys I will talk to you very soon. And the phone number is 360-599-2217. Reach out if you need any help. Thanks a lot.